Hey everybody, how's it going? What's up? We're uh, we're at the mountain hideaway, relaxing in Colorado. That's Pike's Peak in the background. Uh, fun video for everybody. Got a video about football. Uh, been working diligently on a lot of different sports, and one of the questions I get, and uh, because it's a file that I used to do every year, I used to do a whole video on this. It was called the NFL Survivor Pool. It's actually what originally got started. Um, when I was doing the NFL was at creating a survivor pool and a survivor pool is just basically if you could pick one team every week and you can't pick the same team twice, can't do that. Pick the same team twice. They show up in pink throughout each week of the season. Are you going to win every week? And there's a competition between other people. It's a fun office pool type one thing to do, right? Well, uh, I, I did prepare the NFL algorithm, which is what you're looking at, to simulate the entire season's games and give it projected scores um, for every single matchup in every single week. Like whatever week you click on, you start to get an actual point projection, even though there aren't any lines for those games yet or anything like that. And the point projections are being created from a roster list that's current and accurate. I mean, it is that, however, it's going to change throughout the year. So, you know, week two is going to look different than this after week one, because we're going to use week one stats. So this will change, but I thought it was really fun to come in here and take a look at what this would be for the whole season. For those who want to try to do a survivor pool for the whole season and start it out. And this is what it came up with week by week. If you can't pick the same team twice, uh, is it came up with this order and it shows you who the opponent would be in each one of those weeks. Uh, so that I found that fascinating. Uh, I would not recommend doing this, but that's what the, the export essentially of running that came out with. So, you know, there, there's a week coming up and I still have some more work to do on this. I did update the injury report, but what I haven't done is I haven't checked the depth charts of every team. Cause I saw a lot of people were cut and I believe I took care of that. If you look at the, um, there's a sheet in here called the player change pivot. I took a snapshot of all the players that changed since the last week and all the people that got cut. So they're here like Alex Erickson, Anthony Ferkser, Anthony McFarland. These people were on a team like Washington and then they got cut. They're now a free agent or some t players play uh, change teams. Right. So this was kind of interesting to look at because there was a lot of movement over the last week here. And there probably will even be more movement before the games even start on Sunday. So that's why this thing keeps getting updated. So all that being said, this is a fun thing. If you want to look by, by any one of these factors, like all the weeks or look by team, you could end up seeing uh, a comparison of like one team. If you want to always bet against a team or something, you can create a slicer for them. By, um, by going to insert slicer here, if I don't already have a team slicer. And you could say, uh, you know, we want an opposing team, for example, slicer. Um, that's this thing here. So you look at the opposing team slicer, you just create that and you say, listen, I always want to bet against Cleveland or something, right? You can choose Cleveland and open up all the weeks. And you can see these are when the other teams um, play those, play them throughout the year. And you can look week by week, um, to see, you know, who plays what in each week and sort everything out. There's a million things you can do with this. So it's really fun, um, to mess around with. And those who want to run a survivor pool, this will be super helpful because you can keep track of everybody's picks here. Like if you didn't want to take Arizona in week one, because you think Kansas city is a stronger team, you could try taking Baltimore because you haven't used them through any of the other weeks. They're playing the jets. Right. So that there's different ways to change all this, but um, figured I would do the video and, you know, get, get football ready for those who subscribed. I'm going to sell this thing, um, this survivor pool edition for 20 bucks. That's right. It's celebration time. It's super cheap. You get a copy of this file. And if you're super smart and super sneaky, you could even use a copy of this file to update every week and create your own version of the algorithm. So you could even get that for 20 bucks right now. So that's a really good deal. I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling in a pretty good mood and I, I would just, you know, offer that to everyone. So if you want the survivor pool edition, which has all these games in pivot form, there you go. All right. Follow the link. Good luck everyone. And I guess we are shooting for Arizona here in week one. Um, Oh yeah, we, we screwed up a filter there. We need to change the opposing team filter here to be value field filter. Sorry, we need to change this to be value filters greater than you want the projected score 
projected margin of victory victory to be greater than zero is how you filter this properly to get just the list of teams that you think will win by projected score, which is here. And it says Arizona will beat Kansas City because they've got a whole bunch of new guys on their roster. And I guess Kansas City probably lost some too. And this game's in Arizona. So the the line is 210. It moved from like 165 to 210. So the odds makers are giving the algorithm a big middle finger, basically saying, no, this is not going to happen. So we'll see what happens and if uh, this works. And we'll double check death chart, uh, the depth charts to see exactly whether or not they're working. But it should be interesting. So good luck, everybody. May all your picks be winning.